Like it's too much internet out here for you to be failing. People really do talk about you. It might not be to your face, but I took her naked and I was in a hallway telling my I took your nigga whenever she walked past me. Why? Because people really ain't shit. Gosh, babies are so cute. Baby fever, baby fever. All my friends was like, baby fever. No. Be somebody ass if you need to. I condone violence over here. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's me, Brooklyn. I hate doing intros, so we not even gonna get into the intro. Before I was a freshman, like when I was in the eighth grade going to my freshman year, I was watching these videos, like all the freshman advice videos, and they all said the same thing. So I'm gonna just try to say like different stuff. I'm not even gonna lie, these videos are kind of unnecessary, if I'm being honest transition from fre eighth grade to freshman year is really the same shit like teachers would be like that won't stick up in high school they won't let that slide in high school yes they do if anything they let it slide more it's like just yesterday i was watching these freshman advice videos and now i'm graduating from high school that's so wild oh I would say make the best of your high school years. Go to the homecoming, go to the football games. I had fun at the football games. I used to go with my little boo. It's like these four years when you're a freshman, senior year is so far away, but trust me, it'll be going in a blink of a finger. A blink of a finger? That like, I was just like, oh my God, it's gonna take so long. Literally, I feel like it was yesterday when I was a freshman and I'm gonna graduate from high school. Literally everybody that is my age now, well not everybody, let me not say everybody. A lot of people that are my age are pregnant with babies and so on and so forth. It's, if you gonna do, do to do, please use protection. Well, I don't even say keep your legs closed because in the high school is where everybody be. Yeah, Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all, I don't have to say it without saying it. Uh, y'all get it because you will end up with a kid like a lot of people think oh it's not gonna happen to me it's not gonna happen to me but it will it really will happen to you and kids is a lifelong responsibility that is a lot to handle i'm a preschool teacher and i take care of babies toddlers infants five-year-olds so on and so forth and when i tell you the patience that you gotta have I cannot imagine waking up at four o'clock in the morning, not getting any sleep at night because a baby is crying. It's so, I can't, ooh, y'all are not ready for that. And I can tell y'all that right now. I can't even say some stuff on the internet because my parents will flip out. But I'm not even gonna lie, like when I was a freshman, I wanted a baby. I did. And I'm so happy that I didn't. Dumb 13 year old. I was 13 when I was a freshman. Yeah, I was a dumb 13 year old who thought, oh my gosh, babies are so cute. Baby fever, baby fever. All my friends was like, baby fever. No, mm, you don't want a kid. Kids are such a responsibility that I don't even think I ever want to have. Wow. My freshman year, I had a, an amazing friend group. I'm not even gonna lie, they were all amazing. But we all really, well, I don't know what they doing, but I grew apart from them. And I will say, as the years go on, you might grow apart from your friends. But I will say like, friend groups and friends are like really lessons and you can use those situations to learn from but in friendships and friend relationships or whatever you want to call it know your worth please don't let nobody tell you what to do don't take no shit from nobody something that i will say when i was a freshman is i had no like literally no sense of self i did not know who i was i still don't know who i am but i'm not i'm not the type anymore to copy my friend's whole personality copy paste you know i used to just act like everybody that i was around and i would say like it takes you some time like if you are that type of person to stop doing that but i will say make sure you're making the right decisions please don't 
please try to be your own self even if you don't know who you are so just be prepared for the friends to end like i'm not even gonna lie like a lot of people that walk into high school did not walk out the high school out of high school with the same friend group sometimes stuff happens and you realize that that's just not the friend for you and that doesn't mean that there should be any beef or animosity towards that person it just means that you grew apart from them and that's something that I had to learn is that just because we're not friends anymore doesn't mean that I should want to fight you. It's pointless and there's no reason. Then, they don't tell everybody your business people are really fake and they will tell your business to the whole school and 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 yeah be careful who you tell your business be careful what you say you may think that somebody is your friend but at the end of the day they can do you wrong in like 0.2 seconds because why because people really ain't shit be somebody ass if you need to i condone violence over here please keep up with your hygiene um I would like to say that and I think it's really important to put that in this video because when I was a freshman, there was a group of people that stuck together and they all stink. Like, you'll be known for that for a long time. You'll be known as a stanky person and I'm just being honest. Like, people really do talk about you. It might not be to your face, but people really do talk about you. So please make sure that your hygiene is on point. Please use deodorant. Um, I have a hygiene routine video if you need one. Go check that out, go check that out, go check that out. So I had like a relationship that I took, well, that I still take very seriously. Well, I was the type of person I just hopped from relationship to relationship to relationship to relationship. Like literally like less than a week, I hopped in another relationship after I got up another one. And all of my relationships, I broke up with them. It was really hard for me to stay to one person. So it's a very high chance that you might get cheated on. Because why? Because people ain't nothing. They will, they will cheat on you with your best friend. If you get into a relationship and you get your heart broken, don't let that determine your sadness for the rest of your life, please. Please be able to move on. At the end of the day, you're still in high school and you got so many more years left to find the love of your life and the perfect man is blah, 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 so on for so forth. And that's something that I try to tell everybody, like move on. Like, yes, your feelings were hurt. And yes, I'm not even gonna lie. You still might reminisce about that at night. You'll get over it eventually. Something, I will say drama. When I was a freshman, I almost got into like, four or five fights i'm not even gonna lie i didn't even fight nobody in my freshman year but like i almost got into like four or five fights and it was because i was a messy person so if you're gonna be a messy person please make sure that you can back yourself up and back yourself up i'm not like that no more i was a very messy person like it was sick how messy i was no so i would really say don't be the drama starter but like just add a little oomph to my day. I'm not like a bully or nothing. I think most of the stuff that I was in, I only started like one thing and it was because I took her nigga and I was in a hallway talking about, I took your nigga whenever she walked past me. Not my best moment. <laughs> Even if you can't fight, please stick up for yourself because people will, people will try you. People will try you, people will try you, people will try you. And you need to be able to knock a hoe out if you need to. Keeping up with your grades is a very important thing in high school if you really want to go to college. If you want to get into like a good college, please make sure you're keeping up with your grades because that is very important. And you're not even going to think about it. You're not going to think about it when you're a freshman. Like when you're a freshman, you're like, fuck college. That's so far away. Until you're a senior and you're like, damn, I should have never been fucking around when I was a freshman. Like the work is easy. And even if it's not please get help and please figure it out like it's too much internet out here for you to be failing freshman year is very important for the rest of the three years of your gpa your gpa is really hard to move after your sophomore year you're gonna be very shitty when you're a senior and trying to get into colleges and you can't because your gpa is fucked up okay i'm gonna end the video off with saying high school is really what you make it if you go out and you have fun and you join sports teams but if you literally just go to school and go home and stay to yourself, you're gonna have a boring school year. You really just have to open up, find your friend group and have fun, go places, go to parties. Please go to parties for me. I've never been to one.
joining clubs clubs are really important to join if you want to go to college have fun